We've talked a couple of times tonight about the buffalo and the significance of just that theme in U.S. coin collecting, whether it's the original buffalo nickel, whether it's that beautiful buffalo half dollar, the Mount Rushmore issue, or the one that really brought it to fruition, which was in 2001, when that beautiful buffalo silver dollar was released. But there were three versions, four versions actually, an unk, a proof, in blue boxes, a combo two coin set, but the sleeper late in the year with only 50,000 of them released is this one. And by far, it is the most affordable one. That one is a hard head scratcher, but everything else on this one is perfect. So in 2001 again, for the Smithsonian, in the opening up of the brand new wing for the American Indian, they make this buffalo dollar, which is the only Wild West coin we have in U.S. history. Now, the Indian head sent, again, was Lady Liberty with an Indian bonnet on. We nicknamed it the Indian head sent. When President Roosevelt introduced the buffalo nickel in 1913, Theodore Roosevelt, the Rough Rider Roosevelt, we had the first ever Wild West theme, Indian on one side, buffalo on the other, only coin in U.S. history. Right? That's tied thematically. So when they brought this event out for this brand new museum and the raising funds to help fund it, why not make the Buffalo Nickel a silver dollar? Now this is the first time in U.S. history they blew up a coin and reused it. Now you're going to say, hold on, the St. Gaudens is the American Eagle gold and the Walking Liberty is the American Eagle silver. Half right. Half right. Why do I say that? Because that was only the obverse. This is the full obverse and reverse blown up to a silver dollar. They made only a half a million. How many of you had your orders canceled back then if you were collecting 20 years ago? I know I was frustrated. And then I was thrilled when I got my this, which is called the coin and currency, which is a combination of everything Buffalo, post office, Treasury Department, and I'll talk about that note you saw a second ago in a minute, and then this beautiful, the rarest, or the lowest mintage of all the buffaloes, the uncirculated from Denver. Below the D and the O in dollar is the D mint mark. So they made only 50,000 of this. It's the rarest of the buffaloes. I remember that stamp. Do you? 2001. Yeah, when stamps were 21 cents. Yeah. Prices have changed on a lot of things, right? My competition's at $2.59. We are $80 less on the same intact collection in the original packaging period. That is how special, how much fun this is. Now, the whole package is a history lesson of the American Indian. The coin is the key, what we're talking about. We're coin collectors, right? But that beautiful cloud, the red cloud stamp, the other 21 cent stamp of the buffalo we saw on the inside, they match the stamp for the obverse and the reverse. Perfect, but that note on the bottom, that's the real draw, right? That is the real draw. It's the $18.99 $5 Indian Chief or Chief Running Antelope, right? What a great deal of tying this program together. And the best part is, again, they made only 50,000 of these sets. So the Unk, which sells for more than $200, $250 actually, the Proof, which sells for more than that, and then this is the rarest version. So the rarest version tonight sells for the least amount of money. Yet we're getting the silver dollar, which is what we wanted in the first place. That's how special and unique this offering is. Love it, love it, love it. Love you to join us. From Red Cloud on the coin, to the Buffalo on the reverse, to that beautiful Treasury Department reproduction of that beautiful $18.99 $5 Indian Chief one of my favorites when it comes to currency. That one, the 1901 $10 Indian, the Lincoln and Grant note from 1899, all beautiful allegorical concepts. Oh, I mean, they don't make paper money like this anymore, do they? And they also don't make rarity sets like this anymore that are kept as a secret. And not really a secret, because again, you can go to the US Mint's website and look at prior issues on the About section, then uh, commemoratives, and they list them in order. You click it and it tells you exactly how many were made of each one. And then you're gonna look at this one and say, wow, only 50,000. Wow, 
It's the most limited buffalo. Wow. And again, then you're gonna check out my competition and see where they're at, because I would. You wanna make sure you're getting a good deal. I mean, America's value channel, and they call it the ABC way because we're always gonna attack that side of it too. But they're at 259, $80 more for the same package. Guys, we gotta put a one minute clock up. Limited quantities left. That's okay. If you're online right now, you're probably in a good place. The call count and the quantity count are similar. Unfortunately, though, I don't have the force with me. I don't have Johnny Carson's Karnak the Magician trick where I can put the envelope up and know what's inside of it. I appreciate you're all calling and working with us on something tonight. And if it is this Buffalo set, you're going to love it when you get it. Again, that booklet, the story booklet from the U.S. Mint, Going over this, again, the coin was made for the brand new museum in Washington, D.C., which is part of the Smithsonian. You gotta see. If you haven't been down there and just been amazed by all this stuff, it's like, wow, lots of fun. Try to get there every couple of years and just go through it every time and say, wow. Go back two years later and say, wow. And it's always the same comment over and over again. What a beautiful, beautiful city for a tourist to get trapped in, right? And it's our city. Join us, though, on the rarest of the Buffaloes, everybody. This is it. 50,000 sold out, and tonight, save $80. You got to have it.